morning guys. I don't know if you can hear me because there's a lawnmower going on and it's really windy. Um, but this is our last weekend vlog in Jamaica. We're leaving the villa because we're gonna go and stay at a hotel for the weekend and then we're gonna be in Kingston Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we fly home. So this time next week we'll be home. So yeah, it's gonna be a crazy busy week, but we are checking out now. Pete's just done the final checks. We're going to stay at Half Moon which is a really, really nice hotel. We're working with them on a blog feature for one night and then we decided to pay to stay on for another night because it just looks lovely. I'm hoping to ride horses on the beach and in the Caribbean Sea at some point. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're gonna drive there now. So yeah, I hope you enjoy our last weekend in Jamaica. Just be say bye, Villa. Bye, Villa. You sad to leave or happy? We're sad, but we're gonna go on lots of adventures now. We're going on holiday. Yeah, it's so gorgeous. place is a little bit amazing so we've got a private villa with a pool we're right next to the beach the whole place half moon is set on two acres and they've got sunrise beach and sunset beach where obviously you can see the sunrise and the sunset we're at sunset beach which will be lovely tonight and hopefully we'll try and make it for like a sunrise at some point as well but yeah let me show you the room i'm attached my play suit broke and i had to tie the strap and i've managed to tie it with my uh strap in someone just saw me talking on my camera so I'll show you outside in a minute, but we've got our private pool and like a little area there for dining. And then as you come in the doors, this is our living area. And then we've got Jasper's bed over there. Um, dining table here, Jensen's cot. In here there's just a little kitchen. Um, we've got the mini bar, so bourbon biscuits. I have not had these in ages. Um, some nuts, some rum, vodka. What else have we got? Banana chips, that's quite a popular thing here. Um, and then in the fridge as well, there's a few drinks, which Jensen's gonna get into now. I just think the decor is amazing. Like, look at this picture. And then, when you go into the bedroom, hey. sorry, the lighting wasn't very good. Um, so this is our bed, and look at this. I love when places do stuff like this. I think this is like the best towel art that I've ever seen. Um, we got a little gift. So there is some Appleton rum, because Appleton rum is not grown here, made here. Um, and some Blue Mountain coffee, which again is made here. It's about to get crazy. Be careful of this. So yeah, this is the room um, with the lovely big TV. We've got this little area outside. Calm down, Hyper. <laughs> We've got the wardrobe here. Um, <laughs> iron and stuff in there this is not going to be a good tour is it and then apparently the bathroom's just been renovated when the bellboy dropped our bags off he was like oh it's been renovated and you can smell paint Pete's left the toilet seat up so yeah you've got the lovely twin sinks and then a huge shower it had a tub before and I do like a bath but then look how lush this is and I think if we go to the beach it's nice to come back to a nice big shower I mean we could all shower in there <laughs> and look I love little touches like this. What's he got? Oh, yes, please. So we have just been sent a very special gift. So we've got champagne, some little, I don't know what this is. Is that tuna? Um, and cheese and stuff. And then some chocolate strawberries, which look lovely.
we've just gotten home. Hang on, I've got sand on my lens. Um, yeah, we just got home from a lovely yeah. beach barbecue. I've been rubbing my eyes, which is why they look like panda eyes. Um, and the turn down service is so lovely here. So they folded up my stuff that I just left like mm. lying around, and then they put robes on the ends of the bed. And then slippers and the little mat down there. And then there's water on either side as well. Which is lovely, I love little touches like that. Gents, I don't wanna throw my trousers away. That's not for the bin. You're your happy self again, aren't you? <laughs> Good morning, guys. So it's about seven o'clock and me and Jasper have just come out to the pool. Pete and Jensen are still in bed, although I've just heard Jensen waking up. I've been up since half five when Jensen woke up for a bottle. He went back to sleep, I didn't. Um, and Jasper's been up since about six. So um, yeah, he's been itching to get out in the pool since then. <laughs> Look who's awake! Good morning! What are you doing? You need to change that nappy. Good morning! Nappy. Nappy. Okay, so Pete's stomach hurts, so I'm going to attempt to drive the buggy with both boys. I think I'm probably going to have to have Jensen on my lap and Jasper next to me. <laughs> I don't know, I've never driven one of these before, so we'll see how it goes. But we want to go for breakfast, um, and we thought there's no point calling someone to pick us up when we've got this ourselves. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Guys, we're doing it. We're going about five miles an hour. <laughs> but we're doing it! Okay, we finished our breakfast, which was lovely. It was good, wasn't it, boys? What, what was lovely? Breakfast. Breakfast was lovely. You got your frosties to take away as well, didn't you? Yeah, um, yeah it was lovely. It's like right on the beach. Uh, Pete yeah. walked down, so he's just gonna have his breakfast now. We're gonna go back to get Jasper's uh, yeah. shoes because he left them in the room. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then we're gonna go to kids' club. Uh. such a lovely experience so I did the sand stroll um, at the equestrian centre so Half Moon have an equestrian centre where you can do like pony rides you can do surf and turf which is where you actually go swimming with the horses like they go into the deep where they can't stand which they enjoy like they enjoy swimming um, that package was full so I did the sand stroll so I just went on a really nice slow walk it's just me and a guide and the two horses and we still got to go in the sea and it was so lovely I didn't get much footage because both boys were really tired and Pete was going to take pictures and stuff but um, he ended up just taking them back so I got a few bits. But to be honest it was quite nice like I think if I'd had my camera on me I wouldn't have enjoyed the experience as much and I would have wanted like pictures from different angles and stuff so it was nice just to not have that pressure. But it wasn't until afterwards that I remembered I'm allergic to horses so it's calmed down now. I did show it on my Instagram. You got something in your mouth? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You've got hair in your mouth, that's what it is. Yeah, when I came out, like, my lips were all tingly and numb, my throat was all scratchy, my forehead was all blotchy, my hands were itchy, my torso, my arms. So I've had a shower to, like, wash the horse hair off. But the last time I had that reaction was when I was six. Yeah, and I had the exact same reaction, and I haven't really been near a horse since. So that's why, but, um, yeah, it was a lovely experience. I'm so glad that I did it. So if you're into horses and you're in Jamaica, the Half Moon Equestrian Centre is really lovely and they're all really well taken care of and they get taken for walks like even if they're not doing like rides and stuff that day they're still taken for walks down to the beach and stuff so yeah we're just chilling out now this one's just woken up from a nap 
me and Jasper were laying out by the pool. And yeah, I think we're gonna go for dinner in a little bit. Okay, it's a little bit later now. We're heading out for dinner. The boys are all like the buggy. I just had to grab all the essentials. And my lips are still really itchy. Where am I sitting on the back? Yeah. What do you need? Oh, I thought you were expecting me to have the key. Okay, I do not. <laughs> You want to sit at the back with me? I want to sit under the back. You can't sit under the back. Do you want to sit in the back with me? Peaks booked us on to the Sugar Mill restaurant, which is in the golf course, which is on the other side of the road. Um, so we've just got in a little mini bus to go over there. our last day here at Half Moon. Um, I don't know what time we're going to check out because we're going straight to Kingston which is like a three hour drive so we don't want to go too late but yeah. Yeah we're going to go for breakfast now and then we're going to chill out by the pool and go to the park and just enjoy our last day aren't we. Also Jasper's got a burn on his face so we can't figure out what it's from. We think it's from when he went to the park he lent his face on the um like the metal part of the climbing frame. Um, because he's had like Factor 50 sun cream on and he's been wearing a hat and stuff, so I don't think it's sunburn. Poor Bubba. this morning um, because we had to check out at 12 which wasn't a rush but we wanted to spend as much time as possible by the pool um, and then the lady from the kids club called to say that she'd made the boys little tie-dye t-shirts she thought we were coming down this morning which I had said that we were going to but then we thought we would just make the most of having the pool at the villa and then go in the afternoon so I didn't realize she was going to be doing this I felt really bad but um, yeah they got those and little bracelets which is lovely and yeah we've just checked out properly loaded up the car and we're going to drive on to Kingston because our next trip is Kingston for a few days before we come home. So yeah, I think I'm just going to end the weekend vlog now thank and then I might... Much. Thank you, Cheers. bye! I might make Kingston a whole separate vlog. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. And yeah, if you did, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for my next vlog. Bye!